Yo people, LSM here. This time I'll be talking about Accelerator main because I got a request to talk about him. Accelerator is an unlimited character that got introduced halfway through year one and he is a global exclusive. So because of that reason, if you go on his journal entry, we will see that his entry image is his support version because it was done first. So if you go here, you can see his support, his support and only then we can see his main because his support version was, was in the game first. But without further ado, let's talk about Accelerator main and about his infamous skill kit. So starting with, the game says that Accelerator is an area damage character and for his exclusive talent we have Vector Control. So how does this work? For each stack of battery, Accelerator will get a damage boost and if he doesn't move, he'll get a reflect buff. So the reflect is yellow and cannot be removed. Says here that it increases with the power of the battery, but let's be honest, reflecting in this game is useless and you never want to use this. For his damage up bonus, yeah, it seems low, but first of all, at max talent, this is 3% and accelerator can hold 5 battery power. So 5 times 3, we have a 15% damage boost for his skills. Something that the game doesn't say here is that this damage buff that Accelerator gets is only for his skills. So we have skill 1, skill 2, climax and cross skill. Support skills doesn't get buffed by this damage up, which, which is quite sad in my opinion. Now let's take a look at Accelerator stats. So, Accelerator is blessed with a full attack stat of 2000, which is the cap of attack for year 1 characters. His speed is ok, uh, being on, on mid speed is good for versatility, but what's most important is that his attack is very high. Now let's take a look at his skills. Uh, unlike other characters, I will talk about his climax first because we need to talk about the battery gimmick that he have and his climax is playing that. So we have a 2, uh, 12 climax point, other damage climax. So accelerator have damage here, but this is not important right now. We need to first talk about battery. So for each battery power, his climax gets stronger and accelerator starts with three batteries on every battle and for every turn, he will get one battery, which a max of 5, and when he reaches 5, he will reflect his climax use, and instead of 12 climax point, it will be 13 climax point. This is uh, his battery gimmick, okay? He starts with 3, gets 1 every round, and if he reaches 5, he can use his climax skill again. Now for his skills, let's start with skill 1. We have a 2 skill point, other damage. This is the only true 2 skill point area damage that doesn't have any additional effect in this game and the damage is very good for how much it costs. The problem is that Accelerator will use 2 stacks of battery if he uses these skills. So next we have his skill 2, 6 skill point, area damage, Accelerator will do uh, area damage that hits the front the most. but the problem starts that his damage multiplier is less than a normal 4 skill point skill. It's not that much lower than a 4 skill point, but it's lower anyway, and the cost is overpriced. So I think the reason for this cost is that he gets a damage reflect for 3 turns, which is kind of unique, but reflect is usually in this game. And another thing to note about this reflect is that the buff is blue, but it cannot be removed, so it's a yellow reflect that have the color blue, which is kinda rugged, well, it's crossing void. And don't forget that after using his skill, he loses 2 stacks of battery. Next for his climax, let's talk about the damage itself. So the damage is very low, but for each stack of battery, Accelerator will get a damage rate for 100%. So let's do the math here. So here I am on the calculator. Uh, 
210 is the base damage of a Celeritor Kilimax on max level and he'll get 100% for each battery power that he have. So, unlike Summer Yukina, Accelerator have the good uh, percent climax damage. So, if with one battery, his climax is uh, quite bad. Now, for the second battery, uh, it's still bad for 12 climax points. With the third battery, it is almost at 10 climax points. With the fourth battery, is the standard damage of a 12 climax point. And with the last one, fifth battery, it's stronger than Alice Climax skill. So, if you take off uh, all elementals, Accelerator have the strong have the strongest Climax skill in the entire game. Don't forget that if you have max stacks of battery, he gets a 15% damage boost. So his Climax hits very hard. It was uh, the reason people used him because. His climax hurts, hurts very well. So now that we know that his climax can be very strong, let's take a look at his skills animations. Here we are in battle. So let's start with accelerator skill one, two skill point. So as we can see here, he when he uses the attack, he will get the damage boost for his amount of battery. He was at three battery, now he is only at one. Uh, yeah, this is a visual glitch because uh, it's 100%. If it was 300, his battery would be crazy. Okay, now for his skill 2. Let's go for his turn. So, he got the battery. So, his exclusive will now have 2 stacks. You can see here, 2 stacks. So, the damage boost is lower. Then he gets his reflection. Uh, remember that even if this looks blue, it's actually a yellow reflection. So it doesn't count as a buff because buffs are only blue. So if a Misaki exclusive talent uh, attacks Accelerator when he has this reflection, he will get her exclusive talent frail because this is not a blue buff. Now for his climax skill. He gets his buff, 5 stacks, it would have hit very hard if mine was built. Just do not miss everything, so when we skip his turn or use a support skill, he doesn't get the exclusive talent damage buff and then he gets his reflection because accelerator didn't move on his turn and that is for his skills animations now let's talk about accelerator cross skills so first we have mikoto cross skill five skill point area damage that have a multiplier of at four skill point 363 is a weaker side of 4 skill point skills and this one costs 5. Not only that, this skill have almost like 50% of the damage on the front enemy, so it's mostly a front skill. Next we have uh, quite a joke, mwahahaha, Isaiah cross skill, 4 skill point, area damage. This skill hits lower than accelerator two skill point just for you to know uh, he accelerates your skills if I'm not mistaken he start at 240 and his cross skill with Zaya he start at 220 so the damage is very bad for as far as skill point skill hit less than his skill 2 his one, skill 1 sorry and the gimmick is that if the enemy have a backfire or, or bleed they will get a quote unquote strong backfire as we talked on many characters, Backfire and Bleed that are not coming from Shana Man with her Elementium boost are garbage. They don't do much and the damage that you lose here is absurd. This here is an, uh, the damage for a uh, normal for skill point can reach up to 200,000 
alone without very high talent and this thing here does half that for 60, 65% of attack so like 6000 bleed this is garbage not worth it's very bad skill next we have the toma cross skill for skill point area damage it has a multiplier a little lower than the standard 3 skill point area and the gimmick is that Toma Punch will get boosted. Uh, Toma Punch is a dispel skill, so it has a low damage scaling because of the dispel effect. And the loss in damage is very bad because you're probably never using Toma support skill on Accelerator. So, now I need to talk about Accelerator Kit in detail, but first let's watch his cross skills animations. Start with Mikoto Cross. 5 skill point, area damage. He gets his exclusive talent boost. And the damage is most on the front enemy. But unlike his normal skills, as we can see, Accelerator doesn't lose battery power when he uses cross skills. So we can start saying how he's supposed to work here. Now for his Isaiah cross skill. Uh, mine isn't built, so the damage will be lower than the standard. But you know, just note that Accelerator Skill 2 is level 10 and this thing here has 4, star, uh, four stars from Accelerator. At least this skill animation is very cool, sadly it's a very weak cross skill. Now for Toma Cross skill, 4 skill points that have a 3 skill points damage, he gets his exclusive talent. Probably his best cross skill because of the cost, but even so, uh, the damage is not benefiting of a uh, 4 skill point. And we here we have uh, the Toma boost, and it, it's even worse than uh, as a boost because it says damage instead of damage hate, so it's weaker than most boosts that we can get for skills. So now that we saw all of accelerated cross skills. I need to talk uh, in depth about how his skill kit is hurting him. So first of all, we have a character that have the strongest climax skill in the game. Uh, remember that I, talk, I am talking about when he launches, because nowadays everyone got some buffs here and there, but when Accelerator came, his climax skill was the best climax skill in the game. So first of all, his climax is basically a one-time use because he lost he loses every battery power after using the skill. So when you are in the crafted gym where his climax skill would be amazing, he can't get two on full power because he doesn't have enough turns. But besides that, here we have the best climax skill in the game. A very, very good uh, damage skill and a mediocre skill that's not worth using. The problem is Accelerator can't use both. If he decides to use his amazing his damage skill, he loses battery power and his climax becomes garbage. If he decides to use his climax skill, he can't use any of his skills because his climax will become garbage. So we have a character that is hurting himself because he cannot use his own skills. He needs to pick or climax skill for absurd damage output or a good consistent damage output. He cannot have both and that's a problem. Other thing is that because he loses battery, we, it means that his exclusive talent gets weaker every time. He starts with 3 uh, on round 1, on round 2 he will have 2 and on round 3 he will have 1. It will get weaker because every round he gets 1 and loses 2. So he's getting a minus on his exclusive talent. So the more time it, it takes, the less damage accelerator will do. Then, if you want him to move it less instead of skipping his, his turns, because that is one of the worst decisions that you can do, we then need to take a look at his cross skills. We have a 5 skill point that hits like a 4 skill point and is front damage for some reason. We have a 4 skill point that hits less than his 
two skill point skill and have backfire to make it even worse. And we have a four skill point that is slightly weaker than a three skill point and probably his best option because he was from a time where skill points matter and you didn't have enough to use Mikoto cross skill on most things that have accelerator. So this is the accelerator dilemma, a skill kit that does not work because it has so many restrictions just because his climax was very strong at that time. And that's very strong, yet I say just a little stronger than Alice, maybe because Alice is busted. Then we also have the option to pair accelerator with good support characters if you don't have to if you don't want to use his cross skills. The best pair that was stuck to him is Holo, because Holo have a oh, wrong button. Holo have a uh, other skill that have good amount of damage. She loses one skill point, but doesn't doesn't matter much if he's making accelerator work when you use his climax skill and have a good skill, uh, good SCP skill to for him to use. So for most of the time of his life, accelerator was stuck with Holo, sometimes with Lifa for some pandemonium strats. Remember that. His climax skill, uh, he's at a 5 battery, so he can use his climax skill every battle on Pandemonium because of this thing. So some things would pair Accelerator with, let's say here, uh, Kurokime for stats, then they would have, let's say here, 2 healers, they would have 2 healers, so 6 skill point every turn healing, then Accelerator would finish the enemy with his full power climax skills. It was probably the most, uh, the best used Accelerator saw on the game when he came, because he didn't work on most things. The Crafted Dream, we didn't have skill points to waste on his cross skills, because we wanted max damage, his climax was one time use, then would need other character with a good climax skill and that was hard to find for a team synergy and his, his skills even if they are good they cost uh, are strange for most team rotations at that time so what accelerator got to fix those problems that he have when we reach elemental we will see if they got fixed at all but first, let's take a look at Accelerator Awakens because they help him very well. First of all, Accelerator Awaken 1. Accelerator will start with two more stacks of battery. So Accelerator start at max stacks, with being five at the battle. This thing here is basically uh, enabling him to do Void Expedition because Void Expedition is all about climax on round one and Accelerator Climax was 12 Climax Point for like 8 Climax Point in damage, so it was garbage. This thing here basically does that uh, make him viable for Void Expedition. Next, we have Awaken 3, where after using Climax skill, Accelerator will cap 2 stacks of battery. This was big for him, even if he wasn't the best option on the crafted thing, Awaken 3 made, made him being able to use his absurd good climax skill two times in battle but we had Alice and many other good characters so he never saw play uh, meta play on that regard and for Awaken 5 it boosts his exclusive talent by 20% so at 5 battery stacks he gets uh, 18 damage, damage boost for his skills so Accelerator is a character that have one of the best awakens on the uh, topic that helps the character. The problem is that unless someone <laughs> Tenshi Yuki that gets very strong buffs, Accelerator gets training wheels to help him do what he's supposed to do. But still, if you want to use Accelerator for any capacity, I think that Awaken 3 is the minimum that you need to chase for that. Okay? 
next we have his Poseidon so he's he only have one and it's very bad in my opinion the only good thing is the final damage increase that is high but HP, defense and damage taken is not something that he wants because he's a DPS character but still he at least got something now we will answer our question did his elementium help him? and uh, ok let's take a look at his elementium so here we have a max level elementium for accelerator let's start with his moduli so in the battle when the enemy main character hits accelerator they will get a provoke this is a frail that only works for accelerator and it starts at uh, a max level it starts at 3% and you can stack three times so every time accelerator hit the enemy gets a frail that only works for accelerator so let's do some math real fast here okay we have accelerator max level moduli frail he gets three stacks so he can get a max up 11 percent frail on each enemy hmm, this number is quite strange let's take a look at something else if you, we take a look at Elementium, we will see that the generic bus is actually stronger than the Accelerator Moduli. So, what's the point? Because Accelerator Moduli also gives him uh, immunity to bleed. He, he's not affected by bleed. But bleed's garbage. And uh, those stages that have uh, strong bleed effects we don't bring accelerator there because he's weak so let me ask you why does accelerator elementium is weaker than the generic elementium boost that everyone can get why this doesn't make sense accelerator huh? the developers don't like him now for those the other effects that the accelerator have the first effect spear with wind when in battle, if there is an enemy Koto or Toma in your team, he gets a miserable crit rate of 3.14%. This is so low and needs those these three slots for something so low. Uh, accelerator doesn't get in love. So the second one, Black Wings. In battle, each turn accelerator you get one stack of Mahaha. Remember, this is his cross skill name. And Every time for every Moha I have, he gets a damage boost with, by 6%, which is quite good. So at 3 stacks, he gets uh, 18 damage boost. Well, it's a good amount. But it's only once he had uh, for his attack. So 6, 12, 18. And when he gets 3, he also gets a crit damage that is a decent value. The problem is that when he gets 3 stacks, he, lo he loses out of his stacks of Mohahaha and it starts to zero so he have peaks in damage he starts at 6 then, tw then 12 percent damage then 18 with crit damage and then he goes back to 6 percent damage which is quite sad because he at least should have keep everything like it's a effect that needs 3 rounds to reach his max potential and then he goes and loses his stacks uh, so sad and the last one we have happy death when accelerator uses skill 1 or skill 2 or cross skill he will get a damage boost for that type of skill that stacks 3 times and is 9.10% so basically this this help accelerator spend his uh, skill point skill to because they are garbage in damage besides his skill 1 uh, it's quite good boost on the damage. The problem is that beside the cross skill boost, those other tools here mean that accelerator will not use his climax skill. And here another problem that I talk about to you. Accelerator was the character with the best climax skill on terms of damage in the game for quite some time. Why his elementium doesn't boost his climax skill damage? Why? It would be so easy because accelerator was famous for his climax skills and his elemental goes and straight up buff his skill point skills why but at least with this this effect right here 
Accelerated to cross skills, besides the Isaiah cross, are not, are not garbage anymore, but they aren't amazing either. Now, my final opinion on Accelerator to end this video. In my opinion, you should not raise him. He got some buffs, but let's be honest, for his elementum, you need to use souls to unlock, and you don't want to use souls to make a terrible character become average at max, because Unless you awaken 3 Accelerator, his climax skill is a one-time use, have its uses and you can do uh, those things, uh, you, uh, do those uses that I talk about, the Pandemonium thing, where he can use his climax skills every battle, but let's be honest, you are bringing a character that does nothing for 3 rounds just to use a climax skill every battle, uh, there are better uses that you can do with other characters. His Elementium is also not helping him much, uh, his best buff needs souls to unlock, so as you can see here, the, his buff needs the reflection, so you need at least one soul for his class skills to not be garbage anymore, and at that point there is a character called Milk Support that have a uh, Elementium that make her class skills busted for free. And the accelerator needs to have to pay one soul, and his, uh, his cross for his cross remains weak, in my opinion. But that's it, people. Accelerator is a sad character, uh, the main version specifically because the support version uh, is amazing. But the developers don't like him. His his skill kit doesn't work. He needs awaken to do the basic stuff that most characters can do and his elementium feels like a joke because it didn't boost what he was good at and just quote unquote fixed his cross skill damage if you look at it that, that way and that's it people this is accelerator a sad boy that got handicapped hard by the developers